Hi everyone! Today we're going to see how to create an application load balancer connected to our lovely ECS for Gate. And we are going to see that what could be simple is not so simple because always there is a hidden trick. Let's start. The main idea with an application load balancer is that we are talking about a layer 7. We are talking about an HTTP load balancer. In our case, we are going to start an ECS Fargate service with three tasks connected to an application load balancer, where we will control and check that the application is up and running. To start to run, we need an application and nothing more simple than a container with a simple HTTP service running inside. And here is where is the trick. We can't create the task definition manually in our case because we need to map a container port 80 to a host port 80 and this is not possible to be done from the console. So in our case, we will have to use a JSON file like the one that you can see in the screen where we are mapping the host port and the container port as you can see now. If we execute now AWS ECS register task definition minus minus ELI input JSON and the file that we made before, this Fargate.json file, we will create our task definition. Now, our next steps will be create application load balancer. We need the load balancer first because we will need to include the load balancer in the ECS creation. Then we need to go to EC2, load balancer, create load balancer and in this case, we choose application load balancer. To create our load balancer, we only need to give a name, choose internet facing. To be able to use the network mapping, we need to have currently set up a VPC that in our case will have three subnets connected to a routing table pointing to an internet gateway. As soon as this is done, we can choose our three subnets. The next step is connect to a security group that we will have already created that allow only access to the port 80 from anywhere. And in the listener, we will point our port 80 to a target group that we need to create by clicking on the target group button. This target group won't be used later on, but it's a match here. So then we will create it. When we click on target group, we create the element, we choose the instance port 80, that is the port in our container and then create. Now we only need to go back to the load balancer and then we can choose our target group as a forward option and we have ended. So now that we have our load balancer, we can go to the next steps that is our ECS for gate cluster. To do that, we need to go back to ECS and create the cluster, give a name and that's all. Next one, the ECS service. To create a service in the first screen, we choose Fargate. Our task definition that we create already, we give a name to our service and we choose three tasks in our case. In the next window, we choose our VPC, the three subnets, and our security group that allow access to port 80. Now we choose the application load balancer and we create the connection between the container and the load balancer. Remember that the previous target group is not valid, okay? We choose our port, target group, evaluation order and we create the service. Now if we wait for a while our three tasks will be up and running and if we go to the target group we will see that our three tasks are there and the health check is ok and up, up and running. I hope that you enjoy watching the video. Please click like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.